A Manhattan law firm sues an attorney, 52, for quiet quitting by taking advantage of work-from-home rules to do the bare minimum for them and start up her own firm while collecting a $400,000 paycheck. So Manhattan law firm is suing one of his attorneys for quiet quitting, claiming she took advantage, blah, 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 blah. So Napoli Shakol Nick is suing Heather Palmore, 52, claiming she also set up her own firm while she was meant to be devoted to her role at their firm. Palmer was hired by the firm in October 2021 as his chief trial lawyer. In his court filing, the firm claims she made false claims about her experience and falsely promised that she'd bring in hundreds of clients. Instead, they say she spent the next year failing clients while only putting in minutes a day on her computer. She also used the time to set up her own competing law firm, which she celebrated on social media. Palmore is fighting back with her own countersuit in which she claims the firm bullied her. They are nothing more than boorish bullies who will stop at nothing and break the law to intimidate people who try to stand up to them, her attorneys claimed in her lawsuit. Which, by the way, isn't it kind of funny that like lawyers are hiring other lawyers to sue other lawyers? <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Among her allegations is that the law firm ignored past complaints about discrimination. Social media posts show Palmer joking about getting used to this work from home thing in the early days of the pandemic before she joined the firm. Once she was brought on, the firm says she failed clients, including one who she represented in a medical malpractice suit. Palmer lost that case to the client's disappointment. The verdict, coupled with the client's complaints about her, led the firm to make inquiries with the court about what had happened. The firm says it was stunned to learn that Palmer's opening statements lasted only eight minutes when they ordinarily take up to two hours. The client is also said to have complained that she couldn't reach the attorney. When in question, the firm says Palmer denied the allegations and called the client crazy. Throughout the working days of 2023, the firm claims she has only spent a few minutes a day on her computer. She claimed to be carrying out research. The firm also claims she fraudulently filled out time reports for days that hadn't yet been completed. Palmer, in her countersuit, calls all of the firm's allegations lies. In what can only be described as an act of obvious desperation, defendants cobbled together lies and sued Ms. Palmer only after she had raised claims of discrimination towards herself and her colleagues, and days before, as they knew, a lawsuit was about to be filed against them. Defendants' conduct is wholly repugnant and must be stopped immediately, her attorney said. Her attorneys say she has been subjected to egregious race and disability discrimination by senior management. I don't know why it's not a disability situation. She also called the quiet quitting accusations incredulous, claiming she didn't have remote access between October 2022 and January 2023, and that she didn't see the problem with setting up her own firm when other male partners had. So let's see some of these comments. Her claim that she didn't have remote access for months is absurd. I'm curious what efforts she made to fix the problem. If she didn't call her internet provide every day, she's clearly going to lose the lawsuit. This is why the tech firms went through people to physically report back in for work. Firms like Twitter were grossly abusing working from home. This case just happens to be a legal instance. Great ethics for a lawyer. No wonder everyone thinks they're just out to take your money. Her private business is done, and no one will hire her now. Damn, $400,000 ain't enough to make you do your damn job. (laughs) Go after her with everything you got. Race has nothing to do with it. It sounds like there were some problems. They will lose because in New York, there's no way to take back salary you already paid out. It doesn't matter if the employee was a total idiot and got nothing done. 
you're supposed to evaluate performance and cut loose the dead wood. Of course, managers are usually under less scrutiny than non-management. She did the bare minimum, which indicates she did her job. Sorry she left, but she completed her work. I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, interesting. I mean, let's see. Best rated. Someone knows how to work the system start to finish. They should cut her loose and let her see how far her shakedowns take her on her own. Great ethics for a lawyer. No wonder everyone thinks they're just a da-da-da-da. It was going to be difficult for her to do this to another firm after being sued. These lawyers know what they're doing, unlike her. The thing is, if she is able to make her private practice like profitable and actually bring in a good amount of clients, then she would probably be fine even after this, even if she were to lose this kind of thing. The only thing is, like, it's kind of like interesting, right? Because depending on the type of law that you probably practice, your commissions could be anywhere from, like, like I guess what you would charge per thing might be a percentage base of the whatever you're dealing with. Like, let's say, for example, like an insurance claim. Maybe you take on, like, a few clients per month, but you get paid, like, a percentage of how much you actually get awarded for the client. So let's say that you take like a 20% cut, top line of the amount. So let's say that you get your client awarded a hundred grand. You're automatically going to get the 20 grand out of the hundred grand. So it's just something to think about because depending on the type of law that you practice, she would probably be okay financially speaking with her own firm. That being said, it would definitely be harder for her if she were to try to apply to work for another firm because the firms are going to be like, hey, it kind of seems like you're basically doing the bare minimum, even though legally that is okay. We're not okay with that. You're probably not going to become partner if you do that sort of thing, which means that there's not really a future growth potential with you. So we're not going to hire you, right? But for her, if she has her own practice, her own firm, it doesn't really matter. Like, she could still make a good amount of money, even if she were to lose this sort of thing. And if you stumble upon this, feel free to give your thoughts as to doing the bare minimum for the job that a business hires you for. So, like, let's say that you are working in, like, uh, any business, right? Let's say that you're like a waiter. Are you okay with doing like the bare minimum for that job? Or like, let's say that you are a working in the warehouse and you're like stocking like items or like products or whatever, boxes, who knows? But you just do the bare minimum and nothing else. Because the thing is like, I understand the thought process behind that. We're like, yeah, I just want to do the bare minimum because that's what I'm getting paid for. It's just a job right? The only problem with that line of thinking is very hard to get out of that situation and make better money, right? Because if you only think of it as purely just like, I'm going to do the bare minimum, get paid for what I'm getting, what I said I was going to do, but literally do nothing else at all, then it's going to be less likely that you're going to get promoted. It's going to be less likely that if you were to go to a different company that they will look great on you because the your previous company, if they get called, might basically say like, hey, like this person did like literally the bare minimum and left immediately as their time was up, which technically they could all, you could just do. But if you want a really hard worker, they probably are not the right fit for you. So it's just something to think about. Like there are some costs to doing the bare minimum. 